Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird. I'm in my little uh, nook of Scotland. This is just kind of a little spot that I go to to do tests and uh, builds and stuff. I've got a few things here, like my dragon I copied over here. For some reason, he's missing an arm. Uh, I might not have loaded in. And the sub from when I pranked Zack. But behind me, you might notice this large, shadowy figure. Well, today I hit 20,000 subscribers, if you can believe it. So I decided to go back to a little project that I started back in April, and it was the Subscriber Thank You Tower, and this has become the Subscriber Thank You Tree. Now this is a work in progress, so don't, you know, get too uh, upset with how <laughs> weird this looks. I'm gonna fill this tree in more and make it bigger. But instead of, uh, if you remember back to that video, or you're just, you know, joining me more recently, that was a little thank you video where the first 2,000 comments were going to get their names put in Scotland in a tower, but I decided to change the idea. So uh, I think that has like 1,300 comments or something now, so people could probably still go back and add to that. I'll cut it off at 2,000. But anyways, I decided to make this tree, but not only that, I wanted to put something big at the top. Now this tree could definitely not support the weight here. So up here is a giant nest, and this is the nest where all the names are going to be. But on top of that is dun 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 <laughs> my giant red heron thing that uh, Daniel designed for me, including some eggs. Now, I did most of this uh, last night in a bunch of hours, so if it looks a little odd, I, I'm still going to work on it and try to make it better. I'm not sure about the wing colors. I, I pretty much like the head and stuff, but I want to shape the body maybe change the legs a little bit. Heron are supposed to have their legs like bend at the knee backwards, so. But anyways, I think he looks okay for now, but I will keep improving him. He's just going like, ah, like <laughs> screaming out like a maniac. He reminds me of a giant pterodactyl thing. But I, I, I like him so far, but I definitely think he could use some improvements. So uh, maybe I'll make the wings one shade of red. But anyways, this is the giant monument and inside the uh, the the nest here is going to be where the signs are going to go. There is a ton, I think there's over like 3,000 something obsidian blocks in here that are going to make sure the signs stay safe. And once I finish the design of this, I'm going to start putting them in. I know it's been a real long time, I've been uh, really backlogged on stuff, but I'm trying to go back to some of my older projects and uh, finish a lot of this stuff. So I hope you guys uh, I'll be excited to see this project as it continues, I'll keep working on it, but I wanted to show you guys something because I hit 20,000 subscribers and I wanted to do a little thank you to show you guys that I am still, uh, I still remember the old projects and stuff, I'm not going to abandon those completely or anything. So I finally got around to doing this, I want to thank Heartbend for helping me way back, uh, it was probably a couple months ago when he joined, We before the zoo was even put up, he helped me mess with this tree. Uh, he built like the trunk and the ball at the, at the top of it, and then I added to that. And he also helped me shape the uh, the nest here. But I got world edit since then, so I was able to do more on here. And then Haley last night, she was uh, amazing and helped me sculpt this little the guy here. I built one of the wings, and she I couldn't figure out how to flip it in, or mirror it in world edit. If anyone knows how to do that, so she actually went over and just did it by eye and built the wing again and she completely sculpted the tail thing here if I fly over I can show you the tail expertly done look at this rump over here looks pretty good to me now I want to try to do this more with the rest of the body and kind of shape it more where it doesn't look just kind of like a big old hunk basically I could probably throw some pictures of the progress in here if you want to see it's kind of funny it started out as a big old lump and then it turned into like dead mouse and then like a rabbit and I was just goofing around putting weird heads on here and eyes and stuff lots of weird images <laughs> that are probably poppy on your screen right now but anyways this is the uh, red heron bird's nest for now so thank you guys for for subscribing and watching my stuff and I hope you guys will be around for a lot longer thanks again guys and I will see you next time goodbye Thank you.